Hello awesome people, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Software Inc. In the last episode, we started off with this little this little hardware factory uh, that we have over here. It's it's quite small. It's it's the the building size is not the the, the biggest, so we kind of have to work with what we have. If we go up here, we can see that we have some more rooms, but I feel like these are not the type of rooms that we can use for for that stuff. Uh, maybe in the future we can put some servers in there. Um, but it seems to be that these are fine. The only thing is we still need some um, some pallets somewhere. Some of uh, these ones. Uh, but I'm not ent entirely sure yet where to start building them. Um, we probably could have done more with the conveyor ramps and then the sailing mounted conveyor belts. Um, we probably could have worked better with that because the size of the building is quite small. Um, but you know, that's a learning process for later. Uh, for now, we are... Well, I am happy with uh, with what is going here, or going on right here. Um, what we could do, maybe... Why can we only place it on that side? Can we not change the side of this? That's annoying. Battle drop point. It can only be placed on one... Oh no, it can be placed on one side. Awesome. Let's, let, let's just try this out. This is a dead end. Yeah, I know. Kinda. So what we have is... If we place a pal here, because we can't place it there because of the lamp, which is a bit meh. If we don't place this, like... Oh, we can't place it there. That's annoying. Wait, what am I... Oh, I'm moving the entire thing. No, no, no. That's not what I want. I wanted to move this thing. Yes. This is a dead end. How is this a dead end? Does the pallet actually needs to be like right on here? Oh, okay. That works. Okay, cool. We have two of these there. Well, that hopefully works. Uh, we have only one pallet now because of the lamp that's in the way and we don't really, you know... Again, this is my first time trying this, really. So, planning is uh, is is a li little bit lackluster, but that's fine. Uh, let's go start moving because the one thing I want to do today is just start moving a bit. Last time we played, basically an entire episode we spent trying to work out a system for this. I think the system right now works, kind of. Um, it should work in you know the way this is built. The only thing is. Uh, we d we don't really have something to build there yet, so we gotta check for some stuff if we can find them. Gary and Aruvia joined last uh, last episode, can be educated now. Again, welcome to our our humble humble company. You will get some 2D action in there. Uh, designs we don't really need designs, uh, design deals. I mean, we are working on this. They're probably not that busy anymore on the art for this, or just are almost finished already. But this idea wouldn't be that bad, but why take them off the project, right? And stress them with other things right now. Um, I still quite like the look of the building, though. It's still a nice, nice building. Um, but we have to start working on, like, upstairs here somewhere. We have to, like, this area could maybe be our console area. So for our console OS, where we put our team... Uh, Tide the Turtle has retired. No, 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 that can't happen. That's not what we do. Uh, you are a designer artist in Design Art 1. You worked for 22 years with us. You were retired. You know what? I'm gonna hire a new person and, and make sure that we have, um, that designer in there. Um, let's go medium. Or Def 1. No, 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 Design Art 1. There we go. Uh... You are fine. Why are you? And then this is going to be Tide Turtle. Um, what was your... What did I put in? Human turned turtle. Yeah, okay. Um, I still know your backstory, but it's kind of what, what did I put in as like a reminder of it. Uh, so you. Let's just change your roles first. So designer art. Okay. Uh, details. Change name. Tie the turtle. You, whoops, you were a human turned turtle. There we go. Awesome, so you're back. 
Uh, this is always what I do when, when, when people start retiring in the series. Uh, if it's like you guys, like the viewers, then we will just add a new person and we will make you that new person. Um, so you can basically stay, keep your role. We just pretend that you didn't retire, right? It would be a bit meh if people start retiring. And, and people can die in this game too. So if someone dies like a year in, um, it would be a bit sad for the person that uh, that was you know, claiming their spot, basically. Uh, yes, you can all have a raise. I don't really care. Let's use the education screen. Awesome. Roberta, Roberta Cotton, the leader of the Death Free team. You will be educated. Um, you already have the development. I think you you should be able to hold meetings for now, and then we do the uh, development later. Ooh, two hosting tasks. Awesome. We will take those. How are we doing? Fans are going down, which is not that great. Um, that's mostly because we haven't uh, released an audio tool for a while, and we're working on that. January two thousand nine. So next month we should release an audio tool, which is good news as I take a sip of my drink. So we're doing quite well. Um, we made a month of no non-profit, but that was because of the building construction, like over a million of construction. Now we're just gradually getting back up to like these amounts of money that we make per month, which is totally fine. Uh, release of clout. Yep, they release it. Awesome, we will take a look at it. Oh wait, not, not like this. Cloudway 4, it is great, awesome. It's great. That's actually pretty good for um, for project management. I am used to seeing worse. <laughs> uh, let's port it to something if we can. I mean, this is a pretty good port. Let's port it. It's only one that's also good because it not it's not a lot, like a lot of extra money and not a lot of extra time. Uh, also, we need to order some copies. Let's order like five thousand copies and see what what we will sell of that. Um, let's not go nuts like with this one. What are we selling per month? Yeah, we're, we're basically... How can we sell for 37? Whilst it costs for 54? Oh, that's... Oh, that's net profit. So without cost. Okay, yeah, probably. Um, oh, more hosting. More hosting. More hosting. Can we please sort this out like that? So we can always see the hosting. Awesome. Uh, this is high priority right now. So make sure to work on that. Awesome. I think that's, uh, that's that's good that we released that. Hopefully fans will recognize it and start working. It's good that it's a great one. Um, it's a great quality. That's good to see. Uh, marketing is going for that. It's 60 bucks. I mean, it might be... Well, it's not really expensive compared to some of the other ones that we released. So that's a good profit. I've seen worse. I've seen worse from us in this series. So that's a good profit. Let's see what the press has to say about it. Um... Need to build a fan base. Yeah, I know, but they still, it's they put effort into it and, sh and it shows. I mean, good, I guess. No new hosting deals. How are our servers doing? Six percent. Not like a huge amount, but I mean, it's still fine. I think this is a good step. I think if we can make it to uh, release some more products, I think we can start working on setting up a console team. But the other thing that I wanted to check is the distribution. Hardware manufacturing. Do we have like... Uh, so we don't really have a product to build here. But can we get deals for this? To so just try it out. Manufacturing. Yeah, we don't have deals now, but we might see them come along at some point. I want to see if we can test our factory for a bit. That probably does until we have to change all of these things, but we'll see. Uh, is there another way to test it, maybe? I don't really think so. Maybe contract work? An embedded system. We can try this. The pit sausage. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean... No compatible assembly lines. Board printer, case printer. We have to set these up. I mean, this will pay you much more, though. Uh, because it's way bigger. Uh, I don't really feel like um, setting this up for now. So I'm not going to take the contract work, but it's good to see that we can at least test it. Because the reason why I don't want to do it is because I set all these printers to the right ones that are how I wanted it. So I don't really want to start changing that all around again. I think the first test is just going to be with our, uh, with our console OS, basically. 
Um, probably in the next episode, what, what I'll do is I will start working on the console team. We will start deciding where they go. Probably these rooms. Um, and then, well, actually, this could be another marketing room, I guess. And then we have design here, development here for console OSs. And then these let's just leave open for extras. Uh, what do we do here? It's the same kind of layout. Okay. Kind of looking for maybe a canteen or something. But uh, I don't think we're going to make a canteen this uh, in this series. Hmm. Or do we? We could go here, but I think that it would be better to just put another support team there once we need it. Right now, we don't really need it. Um, I think. Check tests. Uh, tasks so yeah the queue is not that big on our products because i mean it's not like it's not like selling immensely so let's check how's this guy doing it's, it's actually selling quite well a lot better than i expected to be fair um this might be one of the products that actually will make a small profit for us uh, but we do need to start ordering more copies let's order another five thousand. there we go uh, net units sold. That has this has the highest net units sold. So sixty, basically let's say sixty five thousand, almost sixty five thousand. Let's see if we can break that with this one. Uh, would be nice if we could. Can we port this to something like you know, like useful? Not really. The main, I mean, the seventy six thousand is nice, but it's it's like seven years old. There's no real point in that. Um, can we port you to something useful? I don't think it's it's, it's really useful at this point. And porting you is also not very useful. I mean, let's just keep rolling with it and see what happens with those products. Um, and the next thing I'm thinking is, should we already invest in this support team? I'm not sure. I, I don't feel like we need it. And then it's just a waste of money. On the other hand, if we blow up somewhere, um, like one product does very well, we immediately need the support team. What will happen? Amber Zach, you also retired. Okay, we're going to bring you back, especially since you're a channel supporter. Uh, so let's hire another design slash artist um, for... Oh, uh, yeah, that's the system. It's fine. For the design art, art one team. Yeah, good. So we have this all selected. Uh, you are actually pretty good. You have also audio for audio tools. Awesome. You are actually pretty good. We're going to hire you. Ashley Estrada, uh, you're going to be hired and you're going to be renamed, of course. Uh, that's not what I wanted. There we go. You're going to be a designer and artist. And we're going to... Whoops, no, not change roles. Details. Change name. Amberzak. Channel supporter. So for the people that don't know, um, you can support the channel if you want to. By all means, it's not obligated to do so. Only if you want to. You can do that through Patreon. You can do that through YouTube membership. Um, all that type of stuff and there are cool little rewards for it and one of the rewards is getting into their uh, into our series um, as fast as possible basically these are always the first people that get into our series when we can rename things um, stuff like that uh, if you become a YouTube member you also get like uh, a cool like a uh, little bone next to your name like different colors for your loyalty like how many months you have been supporting uh, different emotes uh, all that type of stuff your name will kind of light up for me if you if we do a live stream on YouTube or if we uh, have the premieres, which we do a lot of for Software Inc. especially. So it's, it's, it's just cool stuff. And there's a lot of more other sort of rewards based on the tier system. Um, so yeah, if you're interested, just check it out. But by all means, don't feel obligated. It's not a necessity. It's just uh, if you want to show some support, show some love to the channel and what I do, then it, it definitely helps out a lot. Even the small uh, little... Little donations do help out a lot. I always make sure to keep that aside and use it to uh, to reinvest that money basically into the channel. So uh, yeah, just a little bit of that. It always feels a bit weird to talk about that, but it kind of it is important to do so. Um, Hip Defender Free, June two thousand nine. That's not far away. I mean, that's almost. Uh, well, actually, that's even next month. Um, that's pretty good. We're going to see how that thing is doing. We might slow it down a bit because Hip Defender 2, I mean, it's been out for quite a bit over a year, like one and a half years. So it's not that bad if we release an antivirus every one and a half year, I guess. It's also easier to grow our market, maybe, at that point, as long as you make good ones, at least. But if this one's also just good, I'm going to probably increase the amount of time they work on it. So 
Um, you will be trained in Death Free. You're making antiviruses. Let's do network. I think we need some network for that. A techie, you can be trained. So I think we were going to go for socialization with you. There we go. Awesome. Awesome. Over 12 million now. So we have this running. I'm, I'm really curious about how to set this up now. Oh, is this a manufacturing deal? No. Okay, good. Sad. I want to see what the manufacturing deals do. I'll probably have to reset all this stuff. But if, if it's just for a console, we might be able to try it out. Just test it with the manufacturing deal. Um, fans are growing again, which is good. Hosting is improving our reputation. They just released Hip Defender Free. Let's take a look. It is good. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to make sure... That the time they use is like a little bit longer. Let's let's say 180%. Let, let's get my music back whilst I'm talking. Um, just to make sure that they work a little bit longer. I want to spread out the releases to like maybe like two years. Every two years we release an antivirus. But on the other hand, it's also to get this from good to hopefully great. Uh, on the other hand, it's not, it's not expensive. It's 45 bucks. It didn't cost us a million to make. So that's also good. Hopefully we can use that. Um, we see the active ones, please. There we go. Uh, these two are quite new, so we're going to port to those. And we're going to use, uh, hopefully the momentum of those, uh, of those operating systems to get some extra sales there. So it's also quite high priority now for us to actually work on that. Luckily, we have three good dev teams that can actually do that quite fast, which is nice. Um, ooh. If Defender Free does not meet demand, really? Oh, I forgot to order copies, I think. Cloudwave also needs more. I think I forgot to order copies. But how did we still sell four if we had no copies? Is that digital distribution? Probably. Um, so let's order copies. Let's go for 5,000. Let's see how that works. That was a mistake by me. A little, little, little mistake. Um, let's do like another 5,000 here too. Awesome. Can we port this one too? It's prominent. It's That's good. Um, no, not worth it. Not worth it. Awesome. Let's move on. What do they say about hip? Whoops, about hip defender. It's okay, I guess. Well, that's not uh, what I want to hear. At least we keep our um, we we stay relevant in certain markets. That's that's important. Let's do it like this. I need to really fo force myself to do this. Uh, Furman Peters, you can be adjudicated. Let's uh, adjudicate you in... Let's do audio. There we go. And uh, let's see what we can do. So we have ported it to one of these two, which is good. Hopefully we'll see an increase in sales for that for a bit. Um, I don't think our month already... Well, our month already ended. So we are making a little bit of money though. This is, this is decent. This is actually selling quite decent. I, I like this. It's doing well. Jeez, the thunder is really loud. I'm using a new audio mixer and um, I've, I've been saying this in a few videos now. But I can set the volume for myself and for you guys separately, which is really nice. But every time when I sit down, the volume is just loud. It's also because I use a, my, uh, my headset now a, a lot more. Um, I used to use just use like the little uh, earbuds, uh, but with the headset, it makes it way more loud, which is cool. But the thunder in this game is not as as cool as like a, a very atmosphere spherical game. So maybe I should play like some uh, some horror games or whatever <laughs> to see how that feels. Let's see, making good money, still making good money. Uh, distributions are eh, kind of at the same level again. It sort of goes up for a bit and then comes back down to that same level. Um, but that's okay. We're still making quite a lot of bucks from them from that, so that's awesome. A little factory is standing here, just rolling, not really doing anything. It's I knew I when I, we started building this, I said this. It's not definitely not cost effective, but I wanted to try it out. I also wanted to. Just, of make that step because now I kind of have to force myself to start working with this kind of. Ooh, Punchbook Industry signed our digital distribution deal. That's good because that means that we get some more um, more people on this one and we can get some more income normally. It probably doesn't go up very high because it might be like a very small company with like one or two products. 
that don't sell very well, but that's fine. How are we uh, selling, by the way? Ooh, this is actually doing well. Cloudwave 4 is actually not, not doing bad. It's actually doing quite well. I like that. Um, we need to order some copies, though, again. So let's go for another 5,000. See where we end up. It's actually not doing uh, not doing bad. I like what the, what we're seeing here. This one is not doing great, though. Um, but again, we're, we've improved the timing, so hopefully they will be better. Um, the quality will be higher. And we just have to grow into that market. You know, Audio Tool is a tool... Oh, we're growing. That's good. But Audio Tool is a tool that we have the most experience with and where people know us from. So it's kind of a logical thing that they might you know, be more successful right now. The sad thing about that is that audio tools don't make a lot of money right now. But yeah. Um, that being said, I'm going to pause it here. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Hope you guys are still enjoying this series. If you do, then make sure to show some love to the series. Leave a like, leave a comment. You know, tell me something fun. How was your day? What do you... How, how, you know, how did the last time you played Sovereign go? Um, stuff like that. I'm interested in, in, in all that stuff too. So, uh, hope you guys will do that. Uh, and of course, subscribe if you haven't. And as always, I've been Hippo, you've been yourself. Thanks for being awesome. And thanks for watching.